us as college students often are, and we resort our hunger to pulling up to a drive through at a local fast food place. After all, fast food is cheap, convenient, and it usually is pretty tasty. But by eating fast food, we are making a short-term decision that will ultimately result in negative long-term consequences. In an age where good looks and strong health are basically everything, it has become increasingly important that we avoid our fast food temptations. People tend to overlook the lack of nutritional value within fast food products, which is a big deal considering the fact that one out of every four Americans will eat fast food on any given day. This is according to Morgan Spurlock, the producer of the movie Super Size Me. This table displays the recommended daily values of calories, fat, saturated fat, and sodium as suggested by the Food and Drug Administration. They suggest we intake 2,000 calories, 65 grams of fat, 125 grams of saturated fat, and 2,400 milligrams of sodium in a day. Now let's take a look at the nutritional value of a Big Mac, which is one of the more popular burgers served at McDonald's, a fast food place in which Spurlock says feeds 46 million people a day, which is actually more than the entire population of Spain. The table at the top here shows the nutrients that are within a Big Mac sandwich itself and a Big Mac meal, which would include a small fry and small coke. The table at the bottom right is of the nutrients within what is considered a healthy or nutritious lunch. As you can see, the Big Mac meal exceeds the nutritious lunch in all of the categories. This slide displays similar stats, but for a Italian BMT, which is one of the hoagies served at Subway, and that's a fast food place in which most people consider to be a healthy choice. But like the Big Mac, the foot-long Italian BMT exceeds the recommended lunch in every single one of the categories. To make this information more clear, I put together these four graphs. In the graphs, the Big Mac meal is represented by the yellow bars, the foot-long BMT by the green bars, and the recommended lunch by the blue. The first graph displays calories. Both the Big Mac and the BMT have 300 more calories than is suggested, which is 50% more. In your body, calories are energy, but these excess calories turn into fatty deposits. The graph in the upper right is of fat. Um, the Big Mac meal and the BMT both have twice as much fat as is suggested, which means after you consume one of those two lunches, over half the fat is unused by the body and is simply stored inside of you. Too much sodium can be a very dangerous thing because it increases your blood pressure as well as weakens your arteries. Uh, the Big Mac meal is bad enough, but the BMT actually contains 42% more sodium than is recommended for your entire daily intake. And the last graph is of saturated fats, or as nutritious, would refer to them as bad fats because they turn into cholesterol once you consume them. Uh, both these meals also contain way too many saturated fats. So what does this all mean? Well, the effects of the overconsumption of these nutrients is the reality of obesity and heart disease. Obesity is diagnosed if your body mass index is above 30. Uh, body mass is a measure of body fat in comparison to your height and weight. Now, many of us want to look like the people in these photographs, but the reality is some of us are on our way. The World Health Organization has declared that obesity is a global epidemic. And in the early 2000s, the Surgeon General, David Stature, said that fast food is a major contributor to the, to the obesity epidemic. An article from Dr. Donica.com reports that one out of every three American adults fits the description of being obese, and Seth Stern of At Issue Magazine has reported that obesity can be linked to 300,000 deaths and $117 billion in healthcare costs a year. Strongly connected to obesity is heart disease. Heart disease is the result of the overconsumption of saturated fats and cholesterol, which I previously mentioned are highly concentrated in fast food. What the, what the saturated fats and cholesterol do is they turn into plaque within your arteries, restricting blood flow and reducing the effectiveness of your heart, which will ultimately cause your heart to shut down because it cannot handle all the stress. Just a few years ago in 2004, uh, proof of the dangers of fast food hit the big screen. Super Size Me is a documentary about a 32-year-old male named Morgan Spurlock who decides to eat nothing but McDonald's for an entire month. His intention was to prove that, un that fast food is an unhealthy choice, and he definitely proved it. Um, despite suffering from illnesses and depression throughout the month-long experiment, <coughs> Spurlock made it. In the end, he gained 24 and a half pounds while consuming an average of 5,000 plus calories a day. He was told that by multiple physicians that if he were to continue with his diet, he would most likely die due to the weakening of his 
white organs. But hope is out there. There are plenty of alternatives that can be substituted for fast food. As often as you can, prepare yourself a home-cooked meal, which consists of fish or chicken, and try and eat more fresh or frozen fruits and vegetables. Start reading nutritional facts labels and avoid processed foods. As a snack, carry around dried fruits, nuts, or seeds. Eating healthy is not always the cheapest way to live your life, but it definitely does pay off in the end. <coughs> eating fast food may be the most unhealthy decision you will ever make. But remember, there are plenty of healthy replacements that can be substituted for this unhealthy action. It's up to you to decide whether or not you're up for the challenge.